not a surprise. What's up, Monday Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to talk about ticket symbol AFRM Affirm. So this is a stock that we covered here on the channel when news broke out that Apple was going to start doing the buy now pay later service and I did a video uh, covering this particular stock telling you guys that uh, I think a firm was in a little bit of trouble because if Apple gets in this space it's obviously going to take a lot of customers from these guys because there's so many people using the iPhone Apple pay and all these other services so they want something that just bundle uh, into their service so again there's been some updates so that's what I want to cover into this video but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so when it comes to affirm guys again this is a company that uh pride themselves as the top buy now pay later service provider so again um it, it's a little bit different cheaper compared to um, credit cards that you buy with interest and so uh, when they first went public like i said i did a video here on the channel I told you guys about this particular company and then this news came out that apple was going to start providing the service i did another video just going to give you guys my thought about it and where i thought this was going to go but most recently there's been some other news that is actually putting a firm back on the map again um, again uh, let's jump right here here's the news that apple to use a firm in canada for buy now pay later purchases so not only did apple uh say that we're going to start doing this uh buy now pay later service but again in the united states apple is going to control the market uh but in canada they are partnering with a firm so a firm is not completely out of the loop here so a firm still has um, a good uh, opportunity here so that's why uh, if we jump here you take a look at the stock when this news broke um, so this was yesterday when this news broke you can see um, after hours the, the stock just jumped from uh, close to about $60 to all the way to $66 and then pre-market it's up right now just under 1% but again uh, if you see news like this is what keeps driving the price of the stock up um, do I think this price is going to hold for now? I don't think so. This is just that reaction. And again, the other thing that's probably pushing this is because of uh, Square uh, buying the Australian company. So uh, Square is making move, and I think that this is kind of like a you know a reaction to that. People want to see a firm and Apple uh, make a move too. So in, that would probably be one of the other reasons why you see this price movement. So again, this is just. I uh, kind of give you guys an idea why this stock is popping. The reason it's popping is because they are right now uh, talking, um, you know, Apple and Affirm are uh, talking to actually start doing buy now, pay later service in Canada. Um, are they going to expand beyond Canada? I don't know, but I think just studying in Canada is definitely a start. You guys know my take on this whole buy now, pay later. Um, I am not a fan of any kind of debt. So if if I could buy it and pay cash, I would rather do it unless it is an emergency and I don't have any cash to take care of it. Then I can even attempt this. But uh, personally, it's not my style. If I can't pay cash for it, and then I think that it's a one is not a need. I'm not going to worry about it. So that's just my personal take. Uh, I'm, I mean, people might see it differently. Some people feel comfortable doing it, but I'm not comfortable doing it. So. I think the price here again this thing is probably gonna shrink back um, back down to the 60 level I don't think this thing is gonna keep climbing it's gonna shrink back to the 60 level and then for people that want to go long here you can definitely go long but um, swing trading this is an opportunity you can go back and forth in this thing in this particular stock uh, when this thing hits like 58 you jump in it goes back to 65 you get out and just keep swinging it so um, I don't know if any of you guys have, uh, has this stock long term definitely let me know in the comment section what your game plan is if not again for me I'm not long with the stock right now I my opportunity is day traded and swing traded if I see a good opportunity so that's what I wanted to cover in this video guys so again a firm and Apple are partnering to provide 
the buy now pay later service in Canada. Um, I don't think that this is a massive move, but it, it's a start for them because I I thought they were beat up when Apple said they were going to provide that service. I didn't know that Apple would come around and partner with them again. So it's kind of a, a survivor mode for uh, uh, for them at this particular point. So I, I like seeing that uh, they don't just you know get kicked to the curb because Apple is this massive company. So again, let me know in the comment section, do you own a firm? If yes, what's your game plan? Drop that in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $5, you get free stocks at no cost to you. Links again in the description. And as always guys, do your due diligence, don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.